actually quite scary. There's like literally nothing there stopping you from falling off. Like, welcome back to another video. As you can see, I'm in Baghdad at the moment, and the traffic is absolutely crazy. It's like maybe quarter past nine in the morning, and we've been stuck in traffic for around 20 minutes. So today we're going to a place called Samara, and uh, it's known for this uh, famous tower that it has, which is extremely old, and you can climb your way up to the top. So that's what we're going to do today. So. We're not sure if it's open or not, we've been told by locals it's quite hard to get past the checkpoints there as well, so let's see what happens. The first challenge we have is exchanging some money, so I've got dollars, well, I've got my card and I need to take some money out, so let's see if we can do that. Samara. Samara, Malwiya, Yani. Malwiya. So we've got a taxi right now and uh, we're going in a well a private well no, it's not a private taxi, a shared taxi and we're heading um, I think he charged just like twenty thousand Iraqi dinar which is like around maybe around like 10 pounds or something which is not too bad 10 pounds each for like a two and a half hour journey so we're gonna head there now and we're gonna change some money on the way so that's the biggest challenge here but it's not really a challenge but it's actually hard to find ATMs in Iraq like I mean in Baghdad that's like they're scattered all over the place whenever I ask someone for ATMs they say uh, I'll take you to a money exchange place and obviously my card won't exactly work there so basically um, on the way down towards Samara we're gonna stop at an exchange shop you can find plenty of shops that uh, exchange money here so it's very very easy like you'll see a phone shop and it'll actually be an exchange shop so we're going to get into a Chrysler again so how shared taxis work in Iraq is that basically you've got the option for taking a private taxi so for example like you can take this um, th those taxis over there and if you get the entire taxis they've got some really cool taxis they've got like a Dodge for a taxi and then they've got like a um a chrysler for a taxi as well and if you want to take a taxi in iraq um basically if you take it by itself it's like four times the price it would be for instead of taking it with people so like for example we're going to samara right now it's like two and a half hours away it costs like twenty thousand iraqi dinar which is around 10 pounds each but if we were going <clears throat> sorry if we were going by ourselves like just me and my wife then uh, it costs like like 100,000 dinar or something which makes sense obviously it's more comfortable though that's what we did yesterday from Mosul to Baghdad um, but then you also have the option of taking those like mini buses over there I don't know if you can see it just over there they've got those mini buses but those mini buses the problem is they're extremely slow and they're not as comfortable so we're gonna jump in this car right now and see if we can uh, I, I'm a little bit worried because there's already somebody in there and uh, I have to sit in the middle a bit squashy but it's only a two and a half hour journey so I'm looking forward to it let's see how it goes so I've just come to a shop to exchange money, so let's get that done right now, in a second. So this place didn't work, so we're going to try somewhere else. So it looks like we might have found a place where we can exchange some money. They don't do it either. What a struggle. So I think finally we found a place that does money exchange. So it looks like that guy didn't do it either, it's really loud here, so we're going to try another shop now. Finally we have the money. I'm so happy. <laughs> so we've made it to Samara, well a checkpoint in Samara and uh, the guards have been extremely friendly here. Um, they've taken our passports though, we have to leave it here. And there's a driver who's going to take us towards the Malwiya Tower and we can literally only stay there for one hour, it's very very strict here. Um, so yeah, we're going to be on our way in a little while, we're just waiting around for permissions. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. I think that's the Adhan for Dohor. Catch you inside. So our driver here is taking us towards uh, the Samara inside and uh, he's going to basically be with us uh, throughout the entire thing. Ma is Haider. Haider. Haider is going to take us. He's kindly offered to take us towards the tower. Unfortunately, that's how it is here. You have to be with somebody. So he's going to take us there. He's going to stay with us. I wanted to stay for longer, but he's like, oh, one hour, one hour. I think things have, the rules have changed here. So yeah, let's see how it goes when we, when we get there. Really excited. I could, I could see the tower from uh, quite far uh, um, but I guess we'll only be able to tell the kind of like the the beauty of it once we get closer it's a heavily guarded this area there's a lot of police officers here there's a glimpse of the tower just there so we're getting very close 
looks amazing from here. There's people right at the top I can see. So you enter through this gateway here. I'll try to get in as much as I can. Yeah, 50, sorry. Assalamu alaikum. That's a lot. So it's 25,000. So we have our tour guide here. He's taking us around. He's not really a tour guide, he just has to be with us. So just give you a little bit of a context about where we are. We're in a place called Samara and uh, we've come to the monument called Malwiya Tower. Malwiya Minara as well, it's called. And basically um, it was founded in like the 3rd century uh, AH. It's also recorded that it was founded by the Abbasid Caliphate. And uh, basically it's like 120 kilometers from Baghdad and um, one of the best parts about this area is the fact that you can actually well the tower is that you can actually climb all the way to the top and get an amazing view from the top some people actually say that they were like american snipers that used to go to the top and they used to use that as like the kind of like target range but i'm not sure if that's like accurate but a lot of people do say that and this city as well samara is actually one of the oldest cities in iraq and most importantly um, this tower here the malwiya tower is recorded to be one of the tallest towers in all of Iraq there's a tower just like this in Cairo as well I think I'm not 100% but this one I'm not sure what it's made from what material was used but it's just so spectacular because it's like I've seen pictures of it um, I've seen videos vloggers doing videos about it but just being here in front of it is so majestic it's so grand it's, it's just so amazing to be here you can see people like walking down as well we've got like one hour and i'm worried that we won't be able to climb to the top and come back down in one hour but you know let's see what happens let's climb up see what happens okay. awal salam alaikum salam alaikum salam salam hello hello nice to meet you so the tower it starts off really wide at the bottom and then it gets like you know, narrow and narrower as you, as you go up and this guy sat right there, quite daring actually. So I've just started off. So far so good. There's like no railings here, so... You have to be extremely careful around here. It's not too bad the steps. It's very like kind of like a, a steady incline. So it doesn't feel like... Like strenuous or anything yeah. like that climbing. Salam. Salam. <laughs> Salam. <laughs> it's actually quite scary. There's like literally nothing there stopping you from falling off. Like that's probably why a lot of people are kind of staying close by to this railing here. So as you can see, this is all Samara city here. All along is it's actually not as populated as I thought it'd be. But it is over there slightly. My city. Oh, thank you. Oh, you live in Samara? Yeah. Oh, wow. So, what's your name? Ibrahim. Ibrahim, mashallah, beautiful name. <laughs> so, are you a student here? A student in college. Oh, you're studying in college? We made it to where this guy was sitting. Ibrahim, I'm really scared that you might fall down on the side. <laughs> are you not scared you're going to fall down? <laughs> no? You're used to it, Adi. <laughs> I'm very scared you're going to fall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm really scared for these guys like we've come all the way so you can get an amazing view of Samara city just from up here as you can see is this all Samara here yeah, yeah, yeah. this is all Samara city here uh, there's no skyscrapers or anything around which is really unique to see it's uh, you can see a few minarets dotted around everywhere and then you can see I think that's the Tigris over there as well and uh, then you have all these uh, then you have all these cute kids here mashallah my ism Zane. So yeah, it's a uh, what? So I, I say, I'm still scared because there's like literally no railings all the way around. Anta? Arbil. Arbil. Ani Masri. Masri. 
So we're gonna start making our way down now, but it's been a thrill being up here with like all these people and we met some uh, people from India as well. So we're gonna make our way down now. What an experience at the top of the tower. We're on our way back down now. And it's like, once you get to the top, it's so narrow, but there's so many people and they just want to all just stand around and take pictures and stuff like that. So you just get a little bit crowded at the top. So I was saying before, these guys here, they're from India, from Hyderabad, where they live in Dallas, Texas. Background. Welcome Iraq. Thank you so much. Inshallah, Habibi, uh, you come Baghdad. Inshallah. Baghdad, very, very, very khob surah, very <laughs> nice. You speak Urdu. Yeah, yeah I speak okay. I speak Urdu as well. Okay, Your Urdu is good. Okay. Thank, you so Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Why did they build it like this? Like, why did they do this style? Maybe for uh, defense purpose, like you know, uh, to also to make the prayers for the call. Also, oh, so it's easy to go up there so yes. there's no like inside like you can't no. go inside it's just, just all outside. the way around yes, it's quite around. unique actually yeah, yeah. A, you know we've been up to the yeah, top yeah, yeah. so it's just a small place so the mozin when he's uh, it's time for the azan uh, to call he goes up there and he first beats the drums and then he goes up there and calls the prayer so we've just come back to the car now and we're going to be heading off back to Baghdad and we have to go through the checkpoints where we pick up our passports but um, our driver's just picking up some dates now for us so yeah we're gonna head back to Baghdad another two hours on the road and back to the hotel I really wanted to stay here a bit longer but actually to be honest there's not really any point it would be nice to hang around this area but um, I just have to go in accordance to what they say that we have to be out in an hour so yeah so yeah he's bought us some fruits here they're not dates Maisim Iraqi not sure. What is the name in Arabic? Nabug. Nabug. Mm. Where is that? Uh, I'm saying it's uh, from this tree, just, just over there. It's got like a really creamy texture inside, but it's quite nice. It's very sweet. So on our way back, we've uh, found this field here. They grow all these potatoes here. And that's one of the main things that grows in UK, but it was quite interesting to see a whole field of potatoes. Just, we've just stopped at the side of the road and as you can see there, this was a, a restaurant before here. I'm not going to go up to it really close but um, back in the days uh, when ISIS were around, they actually bombed the place and there were people inside. This is like a, a stop on the road on the, the way to Baghdad. So people come from Mosul over there or Samara or Tikrit and they go all the way to Baghdad and they make these stops here. But this was one restaurant that, uh, from many, from many restaurants that was actually bombed by, by the ISIS. It's crazy. There's just way too much traffic in Baghdad. Like as soon as you're like maybe a few miles outside the city, the roads get really bad and uh, it, takes a, it takes a long time to get in. So I'm back at the hotel now and the site that we went to visit today was definitely one of the best places I've ever been to in my life. Uh, it was so unique going up the kind of spiral stairs all the way up to the top of the minaret and meeting all the cool kids and chatting to all the people up there. Uh, hopefully we should have more videos coming to you from various places around Iraq. So stay tuned for that. And if you like this video, please make sure you subscribe for more like this. Thank you.